Well, thank you all for joining us this morning. My name is Ron Siebert. I'm the Chief Executive Officer here at the Space Needle. Um, I want to introduce uh, several people that uh, without their support and vision, this wouldn't have happened. So behind me, I've got Kate Janeway, uh, Howard Wright. We've got uh, Corinne Wright, uh, one of our board members, Chris Ackerley, and the chairman of the Space Needle, uh, Jeff Wright. So it really is the, the Wright family's vision and commitment to the city of Seattle that makes this possible. We're very excited to show you the world's first rotating glass floor. It's just a couple of inches away. And at uh, this point, I'd like to turn it over to Jeff Wright. Good morning. Thank you all for coming. It's my pleasure to uh, share with you the, the uh, grand reveal of the world's first rotating glass floor. This is a significant milestone for the Space Needle. This project is a very bold and ambitious project. In 1962, it took extraordinary skill and dedication, the best of all fields, to design and build the Space Needle. History repeats itself today. Fortunately, the Space Needle Board of Directors came forward with, a, with support to make the Space Needle relevant in today's world and not a relic from yesterday. I want to thank all those who worked tirelessly on this project. Since Labor Day, we have worked two shifts a day, six days a week, 20 hours a day, giving Sleepless in Seattle a whole new meaning. <laughs> We've had the best design teams, engineering teams, and construction partners. I'd like to thank Alan Maskin from Olson Kundig. I'd like to thank Tony Kidd from Hoffman Construction. John Battle represented us in the project management. Seneca represented us with David Victor. And they were all significant, and there were many others, but these were significant players in being able to design and construct this great project in record time of 11 months. We appreciate all the hard work from every partner. We appreciate all the hard work from each tradesperson. As we are nearing the completion of this significant renovation, we are very excited to unveil one hey, of the Chris, most anticipated features of the world's first and only revolving glass floor. The floor will be called The Loop and will be open to the public starting the tomorrow. Is talking. He is the last person to talk. We look forward to giving you, the media, and some of our friends, special guests, a sneak peek today. Should be. Welcome to yes. The Loop. Right now, hurry, 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 right now. to see this unveiling today. We are live on Facebook now. So let's go ahead and get out here. We're going to get a white balance for the camera really quickly. Oh, Mimi, are, yes. They have just unveiled the loop. Yes. Sorry, there's a little bit of a delay, I think. But yes, we are here. So um, we just had to get a white balance. I want to go ahead and show you here, uh, Tom, if we can show the floor. The first and only rotating glass floor, 12 motors on this. Actually, you can see one of the motors right here, Tom. It's moving uh, at just a half of a horsepower. Isn't that so cute? There's 12 of them. That's so incredible. And the floor, of course, the glass, 37,000 pounds. And they say it's just as sturdy as the concrete, if not better. Now, the concrete was about three to four inches thick. This is about 10 layers of glass. And it's about, again, just as sturdy, if not sturdier. Uh, I was talking to some pe folks earlier who said that you could have a party on here. There's really not uh, a maximum weight necessarily, but of course, uh, you know, a head count, of course, about six, a little over 600 people in the Space Needle. Um, I want to go ahead and see if I can find anybody to talk to. Let me see. I've got the chairman right here. Um, Jeff Wright, may I speak with you for a moment? Could you join me over here by the camera? This is so exciting. You gave a beautiful speech. Um, Tom, if you could uh, over here really quickly. So, <laughs> Tom's our, our camera guy, our photographer. So, um, what are you most excited for today? Gosh, to really have this project done. It's been 11 months. 
it's you know nail biting and sort of have this be completed and and really when I'm out here looking the horizontal view is really cool so yes we can look down and look down 520 feet but when you look out horizontally it's a sophisticated look it's a clean look it's a it's an updated look we've been able to use technology and and better construction techniques since 1962, 55 years ago, 56 years ago. So beautiful. I'm so excited to be a part of this thank with you, you and congratulate. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I actually, thank you so much. Yeah. No, you're going <laughs> to, I know you're a busy man. So thank you so much for your time. I want to talk to somebody else here. See if we can get Karen Olson back. She's the chief marketing officer. Uh, she's right over here in the pink. Karen, how do you feel so far now that everything has been unveiled? Oh, it's been awesome. Like Everyone's been anticipating this. We've been thinking about it, dreaming it, and we've seen the renderings of it, and it's come to life. It's amazing. It's beautiful, spectacular. So exciting. Okay, well, I don't want to take too much of your time. We're going to be live on Facebook, so you can check back there where we're going to continue to look at these beautiful views, and you can see it moving ever so slightly. Oh, this is just so awesome. You guys have to come check it out. Now I'm interested to see what the voting is going to be, Mimi and Steve, if the people are actually going to come out and, and view it now that they have a sneak peek. It's really cool. And you can feel the energy. Yeah. Oh, they want to pan down one more time? Ooh, it's a little scary. You're welcome. We'll have more on Facebook Live. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're still live on Facebook. So um, another thing I wanted to ask you, what was the purpose behind the renovation? Obviously, you wanted to kind of give an update, but at 55 years old, what? why now? Yeah. The biggest thing was, you know, at our 50th anniversary, we said, well, you know, how, how are we relevant for the next 50 years? There's a lot of things we just had to maintain. It's an older building, kind of aging systems, and but it's you only a five-story building, but we're 500 feet in the air. So while we're doing construction, we're like, well, while we're up there, let's just do everything. So it's years and years in the planning. So we wanted to maintain the structure. So we updated everything you can't see, electric, electrical, and mechanical, all that thing. And then we updated everything you can see. So wherever there was structure, we took it away and put in glass. Walls are glass, barriers are glass, floors are glass. That's all about opening up the view. And what was the vision behind the idea of the glass? Yeah, the vision was like, we went back to the original designers and really wanted this thrilling view of Seattle. It's all about the most expansive views that you could have. But there wasn't technology back then to do the glass that we have today. You couldn't do you know, 11 feet tall barrier glass. They didn't have technology at the time. You couldn't do a glass floor that wasn't even feasible at the time. So fast forward today, it's like, well, while we're up here, the original designers wanted this thrilling view of the Pacific Northwest. Let, let's give them one. And it, it is so thrilling, so beautiful. And you know, at first when I was over here, I was a little bit nervous, but now with the excitement of all of this, I mean, the excitement just takes over the nerves. How do you feel? Oh, I the same way. So everyone talks about, I, how do you step on a glass floor? I couldn't do it, I wouldn't do it. But I think that's part of the fun, like the anticipation, like, you know, can you do it? And then once you do, you just feel like it's exhilaration, like it's a thrill. It's truly a thrilling view. You can walk over Seattle, it's amazing. It is so beautiful. And actually talking with Richard Green earlier, who is the principal of Front, who helped design all of this and put this to fruition. I mean, I feel a lot better knowing that he's done projects like this before, but this is obviously unique, but something of this magnitude and that, you know, so many people can be on here at one time. Yeah. It's safe. Oh, it's super safe. We're very fortunate to have one of the world's uh, renowned glass experts live in our backyard. We have 10 different types of glass, and it's amazing. Like, truly, that we're on 10 layers of glass right now. This floor is stronger than the past floor. It's stronger than most floors you walk on. The glass barriers are three layers of glass each, kind of like the windshield of a jumbo jet. I mean, it's super safe. It is visually, you look through, like, but I mean, it is super safe, and we're just, it's amazing to use experts in town. I love it, and I'm hopefully going to try and find him next. So thank you so much for your time, Karen, and congratulations. Okay, oh, he's right there. How perfect is this? Okay, so we have Richard here. He is the principal of Front, and he helped put this all together. Um, so let's get this started here in terms of the glass. How do you go from concrete to glass? We're live on Facebook, by the way. Fantastic. This is an amazing piece of glass here. When you think of concrete and you want it reinforced, well, this is like glass that's been reinforced. This has got 10 layers between us and the ground. We've got glass and then we've got strong interlayer. And so this one, you can jump up and down on it, okay? Together, one, two, three. Oh, oh it's a little scary, but it, yeah, it doesn't move, so that's good to know. 
Um, okay, so you were telling me that there's really not a weight limit with this. So, I mean, how do you even guesstimate a capacity? We know when people are tight together, there's only so many people can fit on here. We've designed this to put as many people as you can fit. So even on a crowded day, because this does open to the public tomorrow at starting at 8 o'clock in the morning, even on a, a crowded day, you shouldn't be nervous. This is designed for a crowd. I cannot wait to see more. Of course, we are live on Facebook showing you the unveiling here of the first and only rotating glass floor. This is so exciting. And so why are you so excited? Today? This has been five years of work. You know, we came with a, the architects came to us with this incredibly bold concept. And this is the time when we actually get to see it. And everything that we hoped this would be, it is. We've seen the upstairs, it's been unveiled for a couple of months now, and the joy that it brings to people when they can come and sit on the benches, and this is just a whole new experience again. So here we are, we're moving across the floor. Actually, how, if we get um, maybe off, can you see it moving, Tom, from the camera? Wondering if we need to get into a different spot. Okay, so um, do you know about the rotations per minute or hour? Or So this can, can run anything from 20 minutes up to however long you want. But we're currently running at about 45 minutes to do the full rotation. So you can up the speed or slow the speed down, uh, which is nice. But this is a pretty good speed, and this is going to be their default unless they get some feedback uh, you know, stating otherwise. And something else I want to show is that if you are afraid of the glass, you can just walk right here on the carpet. So that's really nice if you have a family of however many. Some of you want to get on the glass and some of you don't. So at least you can all come together and that's really exciting and just get a load of this view. So what was here prior? This used to have a wall to about so high. Okay. And then it would have uh, some big steel mullions in between. And when you're sitting down, it would block the view. It would be dark. But this has got anti-reflective coatings. This is museum grade glass. So the view, it's almost no reflection. It's clear. And the, the view is just stunning. It is beautiful. You can't beat this. And I mean, a typical Seattle day too. We've got the clouds rolling in. It's just very romantic here. Um, just what you would expect. Not necessarily for summer, but we'll get some peaks of sun here and there later on today. But um, Rich, of course, has your forecast. I'll have it at noon, so stay tuned for that. Um, thank you so much for your time, and congratulations. You deserve a glass of champagne. Go, go have a glass. <laughs> thank you for your time. I was just going to see if there's anybody else. I would love, actually, to talk to uh, the guy. I forgot his name. I, I met him earlier, who cleans the glass. Boy, that's a job. So they clean the top of the glass every day, but there's that underneath layer. They clean that about every two weeks. So yes, they do clean underneath. So that's a little bit scary, uh, but definitely, you know, a brave job indeed. So I'm trying to see if there's anybody else. Otherwise, we can just kind of show the view here. I think that's pretty much it. Everyone's just in awe right now, as am I. This is such a great experience. So glad to be here. I uh, haven't been to the Space Needle in a while, so definitely if you haven't been here in a while, this is something to see, something definitely different for your friends, your family, and yourself, and just get a load of this beautiful city that we live in. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it here for now. So whenever uh, you want to watch this again, you can just go back on our Facebook and play it from the beginning.